Jungle Bunny Hopper I'm going to use. This is a Camasan B160, it's a size 10, it's a short shank, it's a wide gape hook, and the thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread in 8 And all I'm going to do is start at the eye of the hook and put down a layer of thread. Just run it all the way along until you reach the barb of the hook, and then cut away or break away the waist piece. Now, for the tail of the fly, this is Fluorescent, fluorescent orange tippet, golden pheasant tippet. Now all you have to do is hold the tips of the feather, come to the point of the scissors, and trim, take away the feather itself, and leave the cut ends in your finger and thumb. And you'll see they're already lined up to tie on. Length, you're looking at least the shank length for over the back. Let's tie it on the top a couple of turns. Now for the rib, you could use, this is blue holographic, a medium blue holographic, or you could use, this is originally called glitter body, blue glitter body. This is what I'm going to use. Just tie it on the side, full length of the body. Now what I'll do is just basically make sure these are well tied down. Just run your thread up, all the way up, and come back down. Nice and tight. And then get some black seals for. Now, don't put it on too too tight. You want basically the rib to sit into the, the black seals for. And obviously, this is for the body. Just slide it up. And then wind. Take your time. Just nice and loose, not too tight. You need at least about two to three mil of a head area to work it to get the hackle on and the wing and the legs and so on. Now, as you see, it's quite loose and straggly looking. And then, what you've got to do is bring up your rib. Now, you're only going to get probably three or four turns before you're at the top. And just before I get to this point here, just pull everything back away from the eye and bring up the last turn. Catch it down, good four or five turns to secure, trim away the excess, and then tidy up. Anything going forward, throw it back. And there you are. It's a bit rough looking, but that's the way you're looking for it, so you want it. Now, the legs, these are, as you can see, I've used a few. This is pre knotted legs, hopper legs, that you can buy in the UK. This is uh, a Venier product. Now, Venier's supply shops, they're a wholesaler. So you can buy them like this. Now I need half a dozen. Three on the side. Not that the fish can count like. Now the way you do it is just to bring half a dozen out. I usually run my fingers through. Now there's one there broken so I need another one. Just bring it through your fingers to line up the tips. Bring it 90 degrees from the stem, there you'll see they'll line up. Now I'm going to hold the ones I want. There's a the broken one there. Just fling it away. Or you could tie it in, it's up to yourself. Now you're looking for, as I say, three either sides, so just split the number. So they go in the sides and underneath if you want. I do like a loose two or three turns and then tighten up. Then take away the excess. and tidy up. Now for the hackle I'm going to be using this is a Chinese cock hackle. Just a second, this fly could be, if you want it close to the surface, use like a genetic saddle or something. But this this is fished more in the surface. And more kind of half wet and half dry. Then we tie it in, just remove the fluff from the bottom. Take two or three turns down, fold back the hackle to the stem. Two or three turns back up, tucks it means it tucks in really well and break away or cut away the stem. And then 
the fingers, fold back the fibres. You can use hacker plastics now if you want. But all I'm going to use is my, my fingers. Just wind your hackle up. Now, I would put a good four turns or so in. This point here, across your thread. Nice and tight. Thread down and come back up. And break away the point. Now I'm just going to use, this is jungle crop. I'm going to use, these are, some of these eyes are all split. But they're real okay for this fly. I mean you can't always have a perfect, a perfect cape. And just to show you that you can tie a fly, even with split fibres, or split jungle cock and still make it reasonably good. There you go, see like two or three splits in that. Now what I do is, get the length I would like, now just to the back of the, the hook. And just draw back the fibres, just draw them back to the area where you want to really tie in. Obviously you want them lined up. Set them on the top. And then do like a pinch and loop, take your thread down. Now at this point you can check. I'll be check and see where everything's sitting. And just fold in the fibres or the hackle a wee bit. That there is okay. As you see, like bunny ear type things are sitting up. Fold back these stems and then bring the thread to the front. Nice and tight. Now you could try off or not just break it away. Shows you how tight your turns are, you put it in nice tight turns and then whip finish. Trim away your thread. And all you have to do, a couple of coats of varnish. Come in, tap it all the way around. And there you are. Mm -hmm.